Stephen here from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In this video I'm going to show you how to paint a window casing. If you would like to purchase some of the tools that I use for this little project please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating work please feel free to check out my tool store the links are also in the description below. So with that said Let's do this! This is the window casing that we're going to be preparing and painting. The materials and tools that I'm using for this task is some Johnson's Aqua water based undercoat, some Johnson's Aqua water based satin as a top coat some 80 grit sandpaper, some worn down 80 grit sandpaper, a Stanley knife, a multi-tool scraper, cork and a corking gun, a 2 inch synthetic paintbrush, a 15mm synthetic sash brush and a paint kettle. I should have got the camera closer up and showed you but when you look up close to it you notice that the cork is peeling away and it's split from the um, plastic frame so what I'm doing is just going around removing the corking and sanding the casing but when I'm cutting down the plastic bit to remove the corking I'm being careful not to slice the frame and when I say slicing the frame I mean cutting the plastic part if you were to slice into the wooden casing it wouldn't be the end of the world because you could fill it. Here I'm using the pointy part of my multi-tool to rake it out. I mean what I should have done was just run the Stanley knife through the corking that one more time to fully release it. I would just like to apologise for the poor light at times. See this time I've learned, I've learned from the other side, I do run the blade down it twice which makes it a lot easier to come off. So and also I keep it nice and simple, I just do a section at a time. See now we can give the windowsill a sand, give it a dust off and then we're ready to re-cork it. All I'm doing now is replacing the corking that I dug out. Now the corking's dry, it's time to give it a dust off and we can start undercoating. Right, with my 2 inch synthetic paintbrush which are absolutely ideal for water based paints, I start by painting the top part of the casing but just to let you know where the architrave bit is, where it meets the wall, that top lip, I've already undercoated that. If you would like to purchase any of the tools or similar tools that I'm using on this little project please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also please feel free to check out my tool store the links are also 
in the description below. Now I'm painting the left hand side of the window casing. If you'd like to know how to paint a window or how to repair a rotten window frame, please check out the card on the top right hand corner of the screen or wait until the end of the video where an end screen will pop up. I don't know why I'm painting the Archidrive first when I should be painting the edge lip. Oh, here you go. Right, there's only one coat on the wall, so I've still got to paint the wall. So I'm just brushing a coat down. I'm not cutting it in final. So that's why I was using the two inch brush there. I like to use the sash brush to finish off cutting in. Now I'm painting the right hand side of the window casing. Right, now it's time to undercoat the window sill. When I'm painting the underneath here, and if you notice I clip onto the wall, that's because the walls ain't finished, so I'm not trying to be perfect at the moment with the undercoat. All I'm trying to do is make sure that everything has a good coat of undercoat on it. Because you know what? Perfection just does not exist. Just doing the best you can does. And that's what I do. I just always try and do the best that I can. Before we top coat, I just like to give it a sand down with some worn down 80 grit sandpaper. See, now we're giving it its top coat, but this time the walls are finished, so we're going to be more careful when we cut in the edges. So that's why I'm using the 15mm sash brush, plus, they are just make cutting in so much easier. So, all we do is just repeat the same process painting the top part of the casing the left part of the casing the right part of the casing then the windowsill part of the casing And there it is, all finished. And that is how to paint a window casing. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe. Please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos. And please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.